quadratic equations. Firstly, let's find out what a quadratic equation looks like with the help of an example. 5x square minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. The name quadratic comes from quad meaning square because the variable gets squared like x square here. Hence it is this 2 which makes the equation quadratic. It is otherwise also called an equation of the degree 2. The standard form of a quadratic equation looks like this. a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Here a, b and c are known values and are real numbers and a cannot be equal to 0. x is the variable or unknown. Let's check out some more examples. 2 x square plus 5 x plus 3 is equal to 0. Comparing this to the standard form of the quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 3. The next example, x square minus 3x is equal to 0. This one is a little bit more tricky. Where is a? Well, a here is equal to 1. And we don't usually write 1. b here is minus 3. And c is missing, isn't it? Hence, c is equal to 0. Next, 5x minus 3. The value of a is equal to 0. But wait, a cannot be equal to 0. Hence, this is not a quadratic equation. Solving quadratic equations. Most questions on quadratic equations revolve around solving the quadratic equation. A quadratic equation has two solutions. These are values of x that will satisfy the equation. For example, the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The solution of this quadratic equation will be the values of x which will satisfy this equation. These solutions are otherwise also called as the roots of the equation. A quadratic equation can be solved in two ways. One by factorization and two using a special quadratic formula. We'll come to the special quadratic formula later. First, let's find out how to use factorization to solve a quadratic equation. Let's take an example. x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. To factorize this equation, we will first have to find out the values of two numbers, say m and n, where the value of c here, which is 6, is equal to m into n, and the value of b here, which is equal to minus 5, should be equal to m plus n. These numbers can be minus 3 and minus 2. Now, let's write this particular equation in terms of these two numbers. We can do this by x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Notice that there is no change in the value of the equation. Now, from these two terms, x is common. We take it out. x into x minus 3 minus, in this particular case, 2 is common, hence we take it out, minus 2. What remains is x minus 3 is equal to 0. Notice that x minus 3 is common from these two expressions. When we take it out, what left? x minus 2. Now, if the product of these two terms is equal to 0, then one of these terms has to be 0. Hence, either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Hence, x is equal to 3 or 2. 3 and 2 here are the roots of the equation. The special quadratic formula that we were speaking about is as follows. x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. All we need to do is plug in the values of a, b and c in order to find the answer. Let's take the previous example. We had x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. The value of a in this case is 1 value of b is equal to minus 5 and the value of c is equal to 6. Plugging this into our special quadratic formula, we get x is equal to minus b. b is minus 5, hence minus of minus 5 is plus 5 plus or minus root b square. b is minus 5, b square would be 25 minus 4 times ac, 4 into 1 into 6 divided by 2a. Here, a is equal to 1, hence 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Simplifying this further, 5 
plus or minus root of 25 minus 4 into 1 into 6. 4 into 1 into 6 is equal to 24 and 25 minus 24 is 1. So root of 1 is 1 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus 1 by 2 or 5 minus 1 by 2. 5 plus 1 by 2 or 5 minus 1 by 2. Hence x is equal to 6 by 2 which is 3 or x is equal to 5 minus 1 4 by 2 which is 2 which is the roots that we got using the factorization method also. Notice b square minus 4ac in this formula. It is called the discriminant. Why? It's because as you already saw it discriminates between the possible types of answers we get. Now if b square minus 4ac is positive then we get two real solutions that is both the roots are real numbers. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then the numerator can have only one value which is minus b. Hence we get only one real solution. And if the value of b square minus 4ac is negative then we get two complex solutions. Next let's learn how to determine the sum and product of a roots. Let alpha and beta denote the roots of the quadratic equation. So if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then the sum of the roots alpha plus beta will be equal to minus b divided by a. Similarly the product of the roots alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Therefore if you know the sum and product of the roots of the equation then the quadratic equation can be formed as x square minus x sum of the roots plus product of the roots is equal to 0 or x square minus x alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is equal to 0.